Hey guys, welcome to Tour Truck Tuesday. Once again, I'm at the Kingdom. I've got in my hand the well-discussed Tiger Woods mill grind two wedges. Lots of heel relief on these wedges. What does that mean? What does that do for my game? Where do I need it? How do I test for it? Well, let's compare it against the 56 and the 60 standard bounce. I'm gonna grab the 56 first, and I'm gonna show you where you would need heel relief. And I'm gonna start in the bunker. Take the shot here to the blue and white flag. You'll notice how the green is moving away. It's higher on the left and lower on the right. But a way that we help amateurs who struggle to get out of the bunker is to have them align left, much like the line of this rake, and then swing left as well. Now, by opening the blade of the sand iron and pointing it at the target and aiming left, what you then do is you actually open up, but you put the heel part of the bounce into the sand. So it's gonna create a pocket as you come through and swing left that pushes that sand out of the way. So when you get into the golf shot, you position your weight on the left side to create that steep angle into the golf ball, and you just look to play one down the left side. And from there, you swing left and the ball comes out. That one came out high, but it had the left to right spin on it. Now, what you see when you go to tour events, a lot of the time, John Rahm does it. Other tour players do it when we're out and we're watching them around chipping greens. They'll grab a mid iron, a six iron. They will then aim square at the target. So if I move this to parallel left, meaning I've got my feet going parallel left to the target, then I put the blade open. What the player will do by grabbing the six iron is they're trying to manipulate and throw the bounce under the golf ball. So if you can imagine the blade going this way and throwing it under the golf ball. I'm gonna put a demonstration video in right now. This is Matt Fitzpatrick playing last week on the practice green doing that at the FedEx playoffs and noticed how he's standing square and he's moving that six iron and throwing that bounce underneath. He's trying to hit the middle part of the bounce, but more importantly, he's trying to get the golf ball to spin on an axis that is true backspin rather than I showed you before that was a little bit of side spin. Now, you need to make the decision, much like with these Tiger Woods wedges, if you are gonna go for them and you are gonna play them and you are gonna get into the 56, you can see all that heel relief that's cut away there. You then have to make the decision that if you're gonna play trap shots with that heel relief, you're going to have to get in there and you're gonna to have to stand square and you're gonna to have to get into a mindset that you've gotta throw the right hand underneath it. You've got to get quite steep by getting quite low and then you've got to throw that underneath it. And you've got to work on moving the bounce under the golf ball and hitting that backspin, true backspin. So weight on the left side again, standing square, and then true backspin. And you can play one up there, but quite often you'll get that where the ball comes slightly out to the right, and that's where you've got to throw the bounce more. Try to think about it about like table tennis. You're hitting a defensive shot in table tennis, and you're putting a true backspin on the golf on the ball, ping pong ball in that case. You're trying to do it in here, and you're trying to throw the backspin, because then you're not going to be using the heel. So you don't need it to push the sand out the way. So as we come back and we look at a flop shot, Heel relief can be a great thing, but you also need to consider it when you get into these lies around the edge of the green, if your technique isn't quite where it needs to be and you can't release the bounce correctly to use the middle, then you might want to take some of the standard bounce heel relief that's in there in order to push away the turf and help you through there. However, if you are a slightly more advanced player and you feel that you have that down where you can release the bounce and you can hit that back spinning almost table tennis shot like that we're talking about then you can get in there use the tiger woods wedge that also has the grind at the front with the ski so the perceived leading edge is going to be nice and low and then you can get in there play the shot and really flip underneath and use that bounce out the center to hit those flop shots or to hit that high pitch shot in that case and get through the turf Check it out, try them out. Start with the sand if you can, come into the flop shots, consider it. Bounce is a great thing, but you need to know where you're using it and why you're having it. Obviously, if you can take bits of contact away, it's not gonna hurt you. If you like what you're listening to, subscribe, follow. I bring videos once a week here on Tour Truck Tuesday, and I'll keep you informed 
of all the latest equipment and some tips to help you make the right choices for your game.